Excuse me, but, um, how did you come by that, uh, axe? That is my concern alone. And, uh, while I won't dispute that, I, I know that blade. It was one of ours, but, uh, <laughs> we didn't make it for you. Step aside. I can't. See, the woman we made it for, I was, uh, well, I am quite fond of her, and I would be somewhat displeased if it turns out that you did something to her. How are you here before us, dwarf? We were told our path was the only one between realms. Well, it may be the only way for you to travel, but we dwarves are full of surprises. That is not an answer. Ah, hang on to that sense of wonder. There's so little mystery once you've amassed the wealth of arcane knowledge that I have. Where to comb the realms for exotic resources. How to craft them into creations that defy imagination. To the novice, I'm sure it all seems like magic. But, uh, oh, all right. It's magic. Are you happy now? I'd advise caution if you're heading to the storeroom. Last I was there, all manner of nastiness had taken up residence. Won't your friend be upset if we steal all the stuff? Oh, <laughs> no. No, not at all. He's dead. I think. Oh, sorry. No, no need to be sorry. These things happen when one travels from realm to realm, collecting priceless artifacts that don't belong to you. Wow, that was uh, something, that uh, <laughs> fight. <laughs> Here, catch! Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? Hey! Did you hear? Magni, the Aesir god, son of Thor, dead! I know! Now Modi's on a rampage across Midgard, looking for the killer, swearing that once he finds him, he'll... Oh, shit, that was you guys. We should probably discuss that more quietly. Or not at all. I think that's a great plan. Sindri? Have you always been so... Clean? Huh. Don't I wish. No, I was just as unsanitary as the next dwarf until the day a Vanir witch set me straight. She discovered with her magic there are hundreds of thousands of tiny beasties on everything around us. Ugh, so small you can't even see them. No. It's true. And if they get inside you, they make you sick. But the witch told me there's one wood, the oak, that's a natural deterrent. Stops the beasties from spreading. So now... I make all my handles from oak. See? I think of these things. Okay, back to work. It was my mother's. She left it to father before she died. Face dead? I'm very, very sorry to hear that. She was a fierce warrior. And a good woman. Okay, I will make improvements to the axe. But nobody asked you to. Well, it's, it's true, but... But knowing your mother, <laughs> she would have insisted I repair that act of vandalism perpetrated against her axe by my brother. <laughs> well, um, if you don't need it, don't buy it. <laughs> I always say not. I just want to make sure you're good and prepared before heading in any further. There's all manner of nastiness left over from the Mad Dwarf King's foul practices. What kind of practices? Oh, various... Sacrificing, dark enchantments, blood, magic, and so forth. Quite common among the older dwarves, unfortunately. Old habits are hard to break. Have you seen my brother again? Yeah, he said you lost your talent. <laughs> Oh, and that I'm selfish. No. I'm sure. That I value a weapon's look. No. Over its purpose. That I'm pretentious. No. And uptight. Fussy. I know what he thinks, but he can't hurt me any- Ah! Burn that. Sometimes the best purchase is the one we don't make. That seems busy. How observant. I am known for my attention to detail. You boys look like you're gearing up for quite the journey. The blue one is your brother. Yes. Though my talents are vastly superior. <laughs> no boast. I swear to Freya. Do not undo his work. Improve upon it only. Yeah, but can you can you put it down over there? That handle is no. 
filthy. Okay then. I'll just... I will just... Oh. 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 Oh, is that dried blood? Oh. So, so how come Brock's blue and you're not? Boy. Oh, it's fine. Very good question, actually. You see, my brother's not as careful as I am. In fact, he prefers to work with metals using oh, his own bare hands. Ugh. No gloves. Says it's the only way he can hear what it wants to be. Touch enough raw silver, and it changes your skin irreparably. That means forever. I wouldn't bring it up to him, though. <laughs> you know how sensitive he can be. But how were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so... It sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh... It doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> Did you really make that axe for my mother? Oh, I'd recognize it anywhere. Ask me. It's one of our best. Infused with the echoing screams of 20 frost trolls. Give or take. But why her? How did you know her? She sought us out in the beginning. She was a special woman. She wanted to protect people. I suppose we thought it was a chance to give power to someone who'd use it for good. She even spoke our native tongue. She'd say, Madurin Sam Gengur, Egen Vigum Hans. Gengur I. That's right. That's impressive. I see a lot of her in your eyes. You know? Thanks, Indra. Don't touch me. What? Where'd you learn how to do that, Sindri? Well, after Brock and I parted ways, I undertook some study in Vanaheim, truly mind expanding. Now and then, I need new inspiration to grow creatively. Part of why we split up, my brother and I, he's stuck in his way, so our work stagnated. Sure, we mastered weapon making, but then what? Change is a part of life. If you can't adapt, learn to thrive, you'll be left in the dust. And that's filthy. I'm telling you, it's Fimblewind. I can feel it in my stroke. This is the big one. Stop saying that. Oh, you're making me very nervous. It was bound to snow sooner or later. That ain't just snow, and you know it. It's the end times. How dare you make me the voice of these guys? I'm surprised you're here, Sindri. This mist is pretty gross. You think I can't handle a little cursed mist? Well, you're right. Careful! My shop's right here! I'm just saying, it's a sad day for your enemies. Be careful where you're going. There's nobody nice out here anymore since all the people left. I mean, I hate to generalize, but, um, mostly they just try to kill you. Oh, I can tell you a thing or two about family matters. Oh, mm -hmm. oh. Let me guess. Your brother isn't as talented as you, and his work is junk. Um, those things are accurate. Your point? Um, I know it's not my business, but if I were you, I'd wash off that symbol painted on your neck. We were told it would help protect us. Was that a lie? Oh, no, it's a protection stave, all right, but you can't render that pigment into paintable texture without blending it with boar urine. And is that really better than death? Maybe a little. Well, well it's your neck. Ugh. Probably should have let my father lay hands on it again, but if he does, tell him to temper his steel longer. He's warping the bit work. Sindri. Why don't you just make up with your brother already? Me? Make up with him? Because he's an obstinate pighead incapable of change. Because he says the most terrible things about me. Just because he's insecure about his own work. Which, let me tell you, is subpar. Because he blames me for... For the things that aren't my fault. Huh? Like what? <sighs> Would you pardon me, please? I need to collect myself. Even if I wanted to make such an insignificant goo I'm liable to chink my tools working on something so delicate and ladylike. Then shingle it. Pattern weld the item with scap slag. Keep the layers thin. Alternate the overlay. 
Okay, smart guy. And where do you propose to find a lump of quality scap slag? Last time I saw one, I could still get rigid down south. Shut your mouth, is that... Where did you... I had to get my hands dirty. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, sure. Now you're impressed. Um... Oh, I oh, oh, I see. You figured it out on your own, then. Just... never mind. I wasn't just explaining the beautiful and complex artistry of my craft or anything. No, just... anything to help you. Yep. Your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> you let him touch this again. I wouldn't recommend staying in the mist for too long. That stench will stick to your hair, your weapons, your armor, and I will not touch your gear until you burn all the tiny beasties off in the fires of Muspelheim. Also, it will kill you. Watch the spine. Keep your wrist loose. No, you keep your wrist loose. Yeah, I need more heat here. Coming up. You gonna temper that steel longer? You don't need to. I triple quenched it with Draugr oil. See? How inventive. And sanitary. You clever little beaver. Never too late to learn a new trick, is it? <laughs> hey, Cinder. Have you met Mimir? Uh, if you mean the severed head that keeps blinking at me, please keep it away. There is no possible way that's hygienic. How do they fight? Oh, of course. Magni's strong. Really strong. Carries a huge sword hardened by cyclonic thunder. And Modi? Ugh. I'd sooner lick a rat than shake that dung heap's hand. His mason's shields are just a cheap knockoff of my elegant work on their dad's hammer. Best to follow my lead and avoid, but... <laughs> who am I talking to? So, I heard you and Brock are kind of famous. Well, you're half right. Whatever did you hear? That you made Thor's hammer. Oh. Yes. We did do that. Mjolnir put us on the map. It was a legendary run. Gods and kings knew our brand. We really did make quite a team. So what happened? Oh, well, that's a long story. Things happened that made it difficult to... find that certain spark, you know? Inspiration is a fickle mistress. Huh? Oh, enough distractions. You see the mess I have to clean up around here? Now the rune on your brand looks different. Yeah, price of uh, reforging something what broke. I knew it. You two love each other. Oh, cut it out, Francis. You're gonna get me all weepy. I like the new one better. Don't you? Glad you guys worked it out. Ah. Well, I could say the same to you. Ah. I guess I was getting a bit full of myself. Told him what he needed to hear, how's it sounds to me. Just the same. I'm sorry for all I spoke to you, Cinder. You forgive me? Already have. Like you said, it all worked out. Now, let us get back to work before I get... sentimental.